Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be playing Eugene Melnick Simulator. So we're going to go take over the Ottawa Senators and make sure they become the most profitable team in the NHL. You can see our owner personality says that we don't like to spend very much. But I think that's completely the opposite of what our owner really is like. Importance of success? I don't think that's very important. We might as well just trade away our franchise players if we want to make a quick couple bucks. Alright guys, so looking at our team, we have these guys called Hoffman, Duchesne and Stone who really, I mean, Hoffman is making five million dollars, Duchesne is making six million dollars, and this stone guy is making three and a half million dollars. If you ask me, that's way too much for their overalls. Really, we gotta get more guys like Chris Domenico so we can wave him and then send him to Tampa so they can wave him and we can claim him back. And then we can just get him in a trade. And you know, even Nate Thompson, 1.6 million, that's much better. Single, 1.8 million, that's much better. We don't want to keep guys like, who is this guy? Eric Carlson? I've never heard of this guy before in my life. Six and a half million dollars? Jeepers, for 92 overall? I mean, I think for any player over like two million dollars is just too much. We're going to have to get more Cody Ceci's and Borowiecki's, that's for sure. How about our goalies? Who do we got? Craig Anderson. Hmm. 4.2 million? Uh, sounds more like a 72 overall to me. Mike Condon. 2.4 million. Now that's much better. I think they got the rating system wrong in this game. $5 million? That's not very good. Whereas, like, did Domenico... He's $600,000? He's way higher rated than Hoffman. We gotta get more guys like that. I mean, come on, what are we doing? We gotta trade these low overall players. Even Carlson, he's 6.5 million overall. Come on, that's not good enough. All right guys, I think I found my first trade. We're gonna trade two thirds of our first line to a team that is managed equally as bad as ours. And I can't wait to waste these first round draft picks because our scouting staff is too small. Sweet! And it got accepted. I can't wait for next year's draft. Alright guys, so I found my next trade. We're going to trade the last three good players we have on offense so we can get down to $54 million in cap. Then we can cut spending and get even more profit. And guess what we're getting in return? two first round picks that are gonna go completely to waste and sweet they accept it and now my final trade this Carlson guy who for some reason has so much trade value I mean he's 6.5 million overall that's so bad come on we're trading for this goalies 2.750 million overall that's way better and two first round draft picks that we traded to get a player that's marginally better than the player that we actually got Perfect! Now our franchise is completely in the dumpster. Hmm, now that we've made some good trades to improve our team, should we maybe upgrade our stadium? Bathrooms at 57%. We only have 2.3 million hmm, to spend. It's gonna cost 200,000 to repair it. Uh, you know what, I, I think that 2.3 million is gonna be better just sitting there and doing nothing. We'll, we'll, we'll let the bathrooms just kind of repair themselves for now. Our senators are already making crazy money. 53 million dollars in revenue. We should keep that up and we'll be so profitable. If only we could trade a superstar every day of the week. And there you go, the big number. 51 million dollars year to day profit. That matters way more than winning the Stanley Cup or even making the playoffs. All right, now looking at our team, it looks pretty sick. We got a lot of guys with these yellow circles, so I'm pretty sure that's good. Bros, 2.5 million overall. Not bad, it could be better. Did Domenico again, 650,000 overall, that's the best. 680,000 for Garland, 
these are the kind of players we need to be successful. I mean, this is a team that other teams are just gonna crap their pants at the sight of. Time to sign some crazy awesome free agents that our fans are gonna love. Senators legend Jared Cowan, ooh, 850,000 overall. I'm gonna give you the minimum maybe. Yeah, that that's a much more reasonable number. Jerome McGilna, this guy's awesome. I say we just get all the players who were good 10 years ago. Tuomo Rutu, no way. I love signing guys that yell at flight attendants. All right, now that our team and stadium are all set up, I can't wait to start this regular season. Hmm, so our owner is telling us he wants 14 sellouts. You know what, well, that'll probably happen, let's be honest. You want to beat the Maple Leafs. Yeah, you know what, that's probably going to happen as well. Um, winning on the road. Yeah, 13 road wins. Yeah, that's very possible as well. Um, no more parking. Hmm. Uh, that that kind of has. Then you have to spend money. Uh, you, you know what? That that's okay. We'll we'll leave that for now. Okay. Well, maybe next year, or maybe in like 20 years when I don't own this team anymore. Wow! One of our scouts actually called one of two scouts that we have in our system. So we have six hundred thousand dollars to allocate into our budget. Um. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. Well, we're gonna have to drop arena operations. No, 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 that's not enough. There we go, okay, this is much better. There we go, now I can take home $1.7 million and save every penny. Set promotion night? What's a promotion night? All right, sweet. We signed all these old guys that were really good, but not good anymore. Some players wanna meet with me? I wonder what they wanna say. To be honest, I really think this team needs a shakeup. The locker room is not in good shape. Well, thanks for the input, but I don't care what you have to say. It seems like we've sold a really low number of tickets for the next season. You know what that means? Oh, we gotta jack up the price. That's the only way to get more sales. There we go. Over seven grand for upper bowl tickets. Club seats, I mean, come on, you gotta be approaching 10,000. There we go. That's much more realistic. Executive seats. Come on, if you're not paying $20,000, is it even worth it? There we go, much better. Hmm, advertise for season tickets. Now I'll save the money. As you can see, we had an amazing season, finishing at 23, 54, and five. Our fan happiness has never been higher at 29. Locker room chemistry at 42 is amazing, and we made $25 million, even better. Our team did amazing this season, finishing very last, in the NHL, scoring 2.3 goals a game, which wasn't even that bad. Goals against, 3.5 per game. That's pretty good if you ask me. Zach Smith and Yuri Hoodler had career years. I can't wait to trade them for a first round pick or a second round pick. That never pans out. It's a really good thing our stadium is in good condition. Our bathrooms basically repaired themselves. So surprisingly, we actually did an owner goal. Nice! And we're still selling so many season tickets. And we got the second and fifth pick in the draft. Can't wait to develop those guys, make them really good, and then trade them for like a single first round pick. All right, now we're in the draft. I really wanted to pick Dolan to replace that Eric, Eric Carlson, was it that guy? But you know what, we got the second pick. I wonder who we should take with this one. Hmm. Who would be the cheapest option? A Swedish defenseman? Oh yeah, I can't wait to trade him in seven years. I think we should go for this Zadina guy. He played pretty good at the juniors. I'm pretty sure he's also very cheap, so that's good. Now we have some players to resign. Let's see, Cody Cece, four million dollars. Um, I, 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 uh, how about maybe a million dollars? Yuri Hoodler, three million, get out of here. Brian Gionta, two million, get out of here. Weidman, three million, get out of here. We don't need these guys. We're fine with the players we have. Oh, sweet. We get more money? Nice, I can't wait to add this to my pocket. All right, even more goals. Build a parking lot? Nope. 29 wins? Nope. Concessions? Nope. Perfect.
and our team is looking even better than last year. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, so now we're in a new season, and so the first thing we're going to do is... Yeah, I love you, Ottawa. I hope you and guys enjoy having no hockey team. And what better place than to go to Quebec. I introduce you guys to the Quebec City Melmix. And tell me these are not the most beautiful jerseys you have ever seen in your life. All right, I can't wait for next season. And now, introducing for the first time ever the Quebec City Melmix. Bonjour tout le monde, comment ça va? With the second pick in the 2019 NHL Draft, Le Quebec City Melnik select Vic Stewart from the Kootenai and the Western Hockey League. 